energy. It's kind of key to everything, particularly when you're listening to a presentation or a speech um, online as well, because it's really dull. And if we don't get the energy, if the speaker's not bringing in, if we're not engaged, we get damn bored, we start paying on our phones, we hope the tech fails, you know, uh, we switch off. So I really want everyone to make it their goal to amp it all up at your online meetings. Not only is it going to make you look so much more impressive if you're trying to drum up business, which let's face it, most of us are. This is a really weird time. A lot of people's businesses are changing. A lot of our leads have been lost. A lot of business has been cancelled. So we want to do business. So therefore, amp it up, bring the energy, make the people want to hear what you do. And not only will it do that, it will actually endear you to all the people on the call because we're doing lots of these calls and they can get pretty boring. Boring. So the ones that are energetic and lively are the ones that we remember. Okay, easier said than done. How do you, you know, energize your message when you're in a room on your own and you're essentially just talking to your computer? Okay, so the first thing is before the meeting, warm, warm yourself up. And, and, and you know, whatever that is for you, it could be, you know, do an exercise class, it could be a little bit of singing, it could just be some deep breathing, swing your arms around, whatever that works for you, so that you are a little bit more energized when you sit down in front of your computer for this meeting. And if you can't do that, at least think about the most energetic person you know and try and channel that. The other thing that's really important actually is to speak up because when you are softly spoken and you are online, you will sound a little bit dull. The energy um, gets lost a little bit in all the sort of tech and that dampens you down. So you need to amp it up even more. You know, in your head, it might sound a little bit loud, but actually in real life, it will be fine. It will be nice and energetic and everybody will listen to it. If you're really softly spoken naturally, there are some good exercises that you can learn that will help you boost volume if you're naturally a quiet voiced individual. You can find them online. I think I've done a blog about it before but I'll, I'll definitely do another one. The other thing is to sit up or stand up and um, it's actually fine to do your meeting standing up just raise your computer higher and stand in front of it when you're going to be talking that might energize you more I think particularly if you're the presenter that's a really good idea and I certainly do that myself. Um, I used to read the news and you know if you're on a pop radio station you did stand up a lot more because it kind of made your voice a little bit more energetic and matched the energy of the chilled out station and then if we were working on a more classical or talk based radio station I would definitely sit down so that it was a bit more chilled and a bit more of a relaxed delivery. The other thing you have to think about is pumping up the passion really you know it's your subject that you're generally going to be talking about and you'll know it really really well. Uh, you can sound a little bit dull because you're just repeating information that you've said many times. I know I'm you know I'm always talking about the same kind of things but I just try and deliver it as if it's the first time I've delivered it as if it's the first time people have heard it. If you do that you're investing every word with real meaning and intention and it keeps you really focused and it also means you're showing your audience your A game. You should be a little bit exhausted at the end, to be brutally honest. You know, a, a Zoom call or whatever where you're talking about your business, bring, give it your all. It's hopefully only for a few minutes. And, and even if it's a half hour speech, I want you to be, yeah, that's a bit exhausting at the end because you have given it your everything. And the final advice, really, and I know people have said it's quite hard to do this, to smile and talk at the same time. And, you know, that is the goal. Not everyone can do it. It might look a bit weird. I don't think I'm that great at it myself, but it's more about smiling in the pauses, possibly smiling at the beginning and at the end at the very least, and also just having a, a sort of smile in your eyes if you can talk about it. It does two things. It improves the quality of the timbre of your voice, and it's also a natural relaxant. So when you smile, it should send positive chemicals through your body. And hey, let's face it, we all prefer looking at a smiling face than a grumpy face, surely.